Uh, for my DT project, I'm going to do something with uh, iMovie. Um, I had a previous career in film and television, so I know a little bit about editing systems, but I don't normally use iMovie. But nonetheless, it came with the Mac, and I figured I might as well give it a shot. Um, what I wanted to do is I wanted to get away from students doing projects like just on the posters or projects like that they would do with uh, particularly PowerPoint, which is basically just a slideshow with a bunch of pictures on it and you know someone talking beside it. So I'm trying to get to a little bit more, I'm trying to get the students to be, you know, using technology a little bit different and, and you know stepping away from just a typical slideshow and turning it into more of a movie that you can actually tell a story with. Um, I'm approaching it from the the point that, you know, I'm a grade seven teacher and, um, you know, this is a project that we would do for, you know, our ancient history. And I picked Rome as, as, as an example. And I basically would say to the kids, okay, uh, we're going to do a timeline on uh, Julius Caesar or, you know, a bunch of other stuff that they could easily turn into a poster, easily turn into a PowerPoint, even write an essay on, but we're going to do it in iMovie. So uh, what we're going to do is we're just going to follow through some some steps on how to create an iMovie. And uh, at the end of the steps, then we're going to actually show the movie that I created uh, basically following these guidelines. So here we go. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to want to search for some images for our movie. And obviously the best place to go is to look on Google. So we're just going to search for Julius Caesar and uh, it's going to give us lots of options for images. Uh, we're going to want to find the largest ones possible. Uh, they will give us the best resolution and pixel size for when we zoom in or move around on the, on the image. So we're just going to want to save that and as many as possible because the, the more we have, the longer we can actually make our movie. So we've opened a new project in iMovie now, and uh, if you haven't looked at the tutorials that Apple provides, you're going to want to do that before you really get started. Um, they're really helpful and really easy to follow, especially if you haven't used an editing software before. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to click on the picture icon, and we're just going to see all our pictures there that are in iPhoto, and all we need to do to add them to our movie is start dragging and dropping them into the project window and uh, you can just collect as many as you want drag them in and they will automatically create uh, stills for us uh, uh, with a certain time and they'll also have certain moves already added into them but uh, we're going to need to go through and edit those moves so to edit a picture is pretty easy. You just need to select the picture that you want to edit and a little wheel icon opens up. Um, in clip adjustments you can change how long the picture is going to be on the screen for and also if you wanted to you could apply that to all the pictures in your movie. With the crop rotating Ken Burns icon we can change the automatic moves that were added to the picture when we first drag them in. By changing the start and finish of the move we can focus on different things that will help us tell our story. By clicking the music icon, I can add some music or sound effects to the movie. I go into iTunes and I can just grab a song out of there and drag it till it shows all green in the project window. And that will put the song over all the clips that we have. Next, we're going to hit the little T icon, and that's going to give us some options for writing some text in. And all we need to do is just to drag and drop it over a picture, and now we will have text over the entire picture. So I'm going to use this to get my point across, and I'm also going to need to change the size change the font uh, just so it's going to be easier for the audience to see it and once I finish that this will be over the entire clip. Next what we're going to do is uh, Apple has a little option here for adding some things like maps or backgrounds and we can just click this whole thing and drag it right into our timeline and from there we can change uh, where the map will start maybe we might change it to where the map will finish and these are just little added effects that just might help us tell our story. Speaking of effects, there's a little effect button there, and we can just open that up and we see all the options for effects, and a pretty popular one is Dissolve, and we can just put that in between our pictures, and once you put that there, it will automatically dissolve between one picture to the next iMovie has a little microphone icon and here if you click on that a window opens up and that will allow you to record a voiceover. All you do is just click on the picture where you want to record your voiceover and away you go. When you're done just click again and listen to make sure that the picture lines up with the voiceover. Write a script beforehand so you know what to say otherwise it might take you a while to get it right. Now after we've made all the edits and changes and you're done you're going to have to export it. At the top of the screen is the share menu and in the drop down you can see the different options for outputting your movie. From there you can just upload it wherever you want.
Now that's it. I am now done. I'm going to play the movie that I created with iMovie, and I hope you enjoy it.